Hello, everyone. I'm Joko. You'll think I'm just a normal teenager. I'm short with shoulder-length hair, but it looks weird when I'm going to work instead of school. Yes, you heard right. I work as a marketing manager for an advertising company and for a long time. Do you want to know how it happened? I'll tell you all about it. You will be surprised to learn that I am, by the way, a valuable employee at work. I have many friends, acquaintances, and good colleagues. I am independent and provide for myself. You may ask, where are my parents? I left them for another city when I was 18 years old. Yes, you hear me right. Now you have a question in your head about how old I really am. I'm 30 now. Are you shocked? I'll tell you more. Not only are you in shock, but all the people around me. In general, actually it's kind of a family thing. On my mother's side, my grandmother doesn't look her age. Yes, even my mother. She is now 50 years old and looks 30. And she also has a tiny figure. She has gorgeous black hair, white teeth, all her own. She can't afford to wear fashionable, youthful things and looks just gorgeous. She and my dad are the same age, but he looks like her father. Some passers-by are even slightly perplexed when they kiss each other on the lips at parting. My mom says it's all about genetics. My dad is American and my mom is Japanese, and her wonderful genes were passed on to me. I grew up, by the way, like all ordinary babies. First I learned to sit, then stand, walk, and so on. And then, when I was 12 years old, my appearance seemed to freeze in place. So eventually, I turned 15, then 18, and I still looked like a teenager. My mother immediately noticed that I took after her. She warned me that in life, I will have some difficulties, so I should be prepared for this and carry my ID everywhere. I kissed my parents goodbye and left home when I went to college. It was located in a neighboring city, so I had to learn independence from that moment. So the difficulty started as soon as I arrived at the bus stop. The saleswoman asked me how old I was because she didn't want to sell me a ticket. I showed my ID as proof, but she looked at it for probably 15 minutes. My bus had already left during this time, and she still did not believe that the document was authentic. I was in a bad mood, but I was allowed to leave. I arrived at my dorm, and the same problems were waiting for me there. On the first couple of days at school, among the students, the teachers noticed me and asked where my mother was or whose sister I was. As soon as I told them my name, they believed I was covering for my older brother or sister. Sometimes it got to the point where they called my parents via video link with a director to prove my age and name. Absurd. I was starting to get really mad at the way I looked. Six months later, my patience broke at the end when I went to the store to buy a laptop through a card. These six months, I saved money by honest work, making essays and practical tasks to order. I did a good job of creative work. I drew and wrote well. With this money, I decided to buy a better computer. But the seller thought that I stole the card from my mother and wouldn't take it. Because of the scandal and nerves, I was taken to the police station and my mother had to go to another city to get me out of prison. I despaired and did not know what to do. Then my mother opened her purse and showed me her makeup when we came to my dorm room. I didn't understand what it was for because I never wore makeup. But my mother said that's how she saved herself once. And she gave me a light makeup to make me look a little older. Then she took me shopping and we completely changed my wardrobe. We bought more classic things. All my sneakers had been replaced with shoes, torn jeans and trousers, and I changed my t-shirts for blouses. And now I was wearing elegant handbags. I now had to do styling and makeup every day. But you know what? It really helped me. At least I looked a couple of years older, not like a child. Of course, I was very tired of putting on a marathon every day, but I liked that I was perceived differently now. When I graduated from college and started looking for a job, my resume was also surprising because people couldn't believe that a 16 to 17 year old girl had already graduated from college. I was called for an interview to personally look at me and I explained to everyone what cool jeans I have. 
In general, I was hired after all. And no, not because of my appearance, but because of my knowledge and skills. Sometimes I still hear colleagues chattering about my height, and on New Year's Day, they gave me a pacifier or a bottle of milk. But nevertheless, I know that this is kind. You know, looking young is great, and I can't wait to look like my mom. I think it's only at that point that it's a real compliment. A couple of months later, one of my colleagues came up to me at work and told me that she had a girlfriend. She is a photographer and is looking for models to advertise teen clothing. I already took the hint and flatly refused such an offer, but she persuaded me with fees. Yes, they paid very well, and I thought for a couple of minutes and agreed. After all, extra money never hurts. When I got to the studio, the staff were talking to me because I wasn't wearing makeup. The photographer herself knew the whole truth. She saw how awkward I was and immediately took the situation into her own hands. She asked her colleagues not to do this. I was given clothes, I tried them on, and they were just right for me. I looked just like a schoolgirl. After taking a few series of pictures, I was paid and went home. Within a week, the pictures were hanging on huge banners in the city. I was so angry. If I had known that the pictures would be hanging around the city, I would never have agreed, I shouted. My colleagues took selfies against the background of the advertisement and sent them to me. I felt like a real child. I got hysterical again and called my mother. Mom came to me with my favorite buns, which she baked. I ate them and cried. Mom, why do we have such a curse? I asked her. But she said that this is not a curse, but a gift. I didn't agree with her, but my mother explained that a person can buy everything except youth. Not many people have this kind of gift. I'm proud that we are special, my mother said, and I suddenly realized that this was true. We don't have to have facial plastic surgery, facelifts, and Botox just to remove wrinkles. I liked this idea, and from that moment, I accepted myself as I am. Well, life has become easier. As for the others, I've learned to hold out my middle finger held high. If you liked my story, please like it, write comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hello everyone, my name is Jung. I'm an only child in my own right, but every time I go out in public with my mom, they say, what a beautiful sister you have. The thing is, my mother looks 20 years old. Once it got in my way. My mother's name is Kim, and our age difference is 20 years, so she is now 36. My mom always looked great. For as long as I can remember, she's been wearing makeup in the morning and in the evening. My father admires her beauty every day, and my mother says that it's all about blood. We are Koreans. We age slowly outwardly. And then one. And then literally in one day, we are closer to old age. I believed her because I had a clear example before my eyes. My mother and I were about the same height, 160 centimeters, but I was a little plumper and my mother is slim. I was already used to loud compliments to her every time we went to the stores or to the market for food. At first, I didn't think it was because my mom looked great, but rather that I didn't look great. But then she found out that she was told that in any society. And then I began to take advantage of this. A young mother is a mother who understands. She taught me how to use cosmetics and bought a separate one for me, for young skin. She allowed me to wear her things, shoes, and made me beautiful hairstyles without any problems. I love to record videos and post everything online. My mother never refused to participate in commercials. She had a great sense of humor and sang divinely. We didn't look much alike. I looked more like my father. I only shared my secrets about guys with her. I knew that she would always support and give good advice. Just recently, I met a guy named Lin. He was new in our class. Oh, all my classmates noticed such a handsome boy. And oddly enough, he began to communicate more with me than anyone else. There was no limit to my happiness. We sat together in class, and every day he brought me some fruit for lunch. It's the cutest thing you can think of. Lynn started courting me and returned the favor. I told my mother about our first kiss, and she wished me luck and told me not to lose my head. 
I knew she was happy for me, even though she was very worried. Lynn and I went on dates one to two times a week, to the movies, to cafes, or just for a walk. We always had something to talk about. I fell more and more in love with him. Once, he even wrote a song in my honor and sang it when we were sitting in the park at sunset. It was beautiful. Then came my birthday. Lynn and I decided to celebrate with friends at the club. He promised to pick me up in the evening, told me to be ready by seven. All day, my mother and I ran around looking for an outfit for me, and I found the perfect dress and shoes. I couldn't wait to show my favorite guy. You're just a princess, my mother said as she helped me get ready for the party. She gave me one last hug, and I just had to put the finishing touches on it. The bell rang in the house, and my mother ran to open the door. It was my lover. Beaming with happiness and sequins, I went down the stairs. My mother was just talking to him about something. I kissed her on the cheek, and we went to the club. You didn't say you had a sister, Lynn said on the way. I don't have one. It's my mother, I said. His face changed in an instant. It was evident that he was shocked. Your mom? She looks so young, he said. I reassured him by telling him that he wasn't the first person to say that. The evening was fun and easy, except that Lynn was acting a little strange. Not as usual. Is everything all right? I asked him when we parted, but he assured me that everything was fine. All the time that followed, Lynn seemed to be thinking about something. He skipped questions, often got confused in the answers, always thinking about something. I told my mother about it, and she suggested that I invite him to dinner with us. It was a great idea. We made dinner, and Lynn came in time. Dad was on a business trip at the time, so the three of us spent the evening together. This is for you, he said, handing a bunch of flowers to my mom. She was flattered and politely thanked him. Why are you dressed up like this? We're not going to a restaurant, I told him and laughed. He was embarrassed. This evening, I saw it from the other side, as it is. Strange. Unusual. Lynn talked a lot, asked my mother a million questions, and laughed. I suddenly felt that the evening was passing me by. You are familiar with the phrase, third extra, so this is about me. Then, Lynn left without even kissing me. My mood sank at the end. My mother started asking questions about what had happened, because everything was wonderful. Didn't I tell you we didn't have any secrets? So I told her to her face, I think he's got a crush on you. I told her. My mother's eyes almost popped out of her head in surprise, but I still had an unpleasant feeling in my heart. I couldn't stop thinking that I was right. How disgusting is it that your boyfriend falls in love with your mother? Ugh. What should I do now? After half an hour of denial, my mother finally gave up. She said it was a ridiculous situation and she was embarrassed. I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry, she said, but I knew that it wasn't my mother's fault. Lynn called the next day. I had a dry chat with him, and he said he would come to visit me. No, I want to go for a walk, I said curtly. I heard that he was upset, but I didn't care. In the evening, I went out to him on the street, and we went to the park. He asked almost nothing about me, but he asked a thousand questions about my mother. Then I broke down and exploded. I was filled with jealousy, anger, stupidity of the situation. Can you stop talking about my mom? Aren't you ashamed at all? She is my mother and you are openly hitting on her, I shouted at him. Lynn strenuously denied it. You thought I was being polite and paying more attention to her. I wanted to make a positive impression, nothing more, he said, but I didn't believe him. I knew too well when he was lying. The problem was that I fell head over heels in love with this guy, but I knew that such a relationship would not go far. Gathering my thoughts, I took a deep breath and said we should break up. Lynn was sad, but I was also hurt. I called a taxi and went home hysterical. My mother calmed me for a long time. She comforted me with gentle strokes on the head. I didn't realize I'd fallen asleep. All of a sudden, I had a dream about my mom getting a divorce from my dad and marrying my ex-boyfriend. Oh no, this is terrible. This can't be happening, I screamed. I woke up screaming, a lump in my throat, my hands shaking. And suddenly, I heard my mother arguing with someone. I crept out into the hall and saw Lynn standing outside the door, and my mother talking to him. He is holding a bouquet of flowers. I moved closer to hear the conversation. I couldn't believe it. He confessed his love for her, you bastard. My mother told him sternly that he was old enough to be a father, that he was not worthy of her daughter, and that he should get out of our lives once and for all. 
She was so angry, and then she took the flowers from his hands and threw them away. Go away and don't come back, she screamed. What was it like for me? It was awful, disgusting and bad. But despite the situation, my relationship with my mother has not changed. I realized that Lynn was just not the right person for me. What would you do if you were me? Write an answer in the comments and subscribe to this channel. There are still a lot of more interesting stories to come.